Welcome to Mineola. This school year has been unique. Last summer, as we held social distance drive-through graduation ceremonies, we set our sights on the new school year and a lofty mission. Entering the 2020-2021 school year, our goal was to strengthen social-emotional learning in our community. But that presented a challenge. How do we focus on connection when we're separated? To guide us, we built a plan based on the four pillars of the Castle Theory of Action. It begins with building a foundational support plan. To see that, we need to rewind. Our ability to succeed this year was built on the foundation we began four years ago. In 2017, the Mineola School District set a goal to authentically and intentionally cultivate the social and emotional competencies of all learners in the district. We began with a focus on growth mindset. Throughout a year-long initiative, growth mindset practices and vocabulary were embedded into our curriculum at every grade level in every classroom. Through this initiative, we created an environment where mistakes were embraced and obstacles were seen as opportunities. This prepared our staff and students to thrive within ambiguity and ready them for an unpredictable future, which brings us back to today in our very unpredictable present. Pillar two of the plan is to strengthen adult SEL. Teaching is difficult in any year, and under these unprecedented circumstances, it was important to put a focus on our staff's well-being by doing less and listening more. We asked our teachers, what are you grateful for? These answers were the basis of Wellness Week, a week-long celebration of gratitude and self-care. Pillar three is to promote social-emotional learning for students. Building off our year-long Growth Mindset Initiative in 2017, Mineola set out to deepen our practice. We set out to introduce a language of mindfulness in even our youngest learners through the Mineola Grows Project. Students are learning how their brains work, where emotions come from, and how to identify how they are feeling. These skills help learners build self-efficacy and provide the vocabulary they need to seek support and self-regulate. To bolster our classroom practice, we've created a robust series of educational videos to enhance our SEL curriculum. The last pillar is to practice continuous improvement. We continue to take an iterative approach to our SEL education. Classrooms are experimenting. We communicate and share best practices through PD and a very active Twitter community. When it came to our Wellness Week, we were able to have guided meditations led by our students. We're gonna calm our bodies down and grow our brains. Feel Something that helps me calm down in class is elephant breathing. We've long seen the benefit of focusing on mindfulness in our learners' education. Even in an extraordinarily difficult time, this background has allowed us to adapt to new challenges and stay focused on what matters most. To exemplify this, we're proud to share a small segment of a student-produced and written choral arrangement, Little Windows, Dark Rooms. The past year has been an unprecedented challenge, but by building a community of learners that are prepared to thrive in ambiguity, Mineola continues to grow together, even while we are apart. And for that, we are Mineola grateful.